first sound that I did was this. I also played with the frequency envelope. For example, erosion. <laughs> Right now there is like a new wave of artists that are taking this sound to the next level by combining these very old 80s sounds with modern techniques, futuristic sounds, mixing genres. So that's what I'm going to break down today. A very basic aggressive electro song. The samples that I'm going to use for my drums are from samplefocus.com. I recommend that you look for, you know, 808 sounds, which are the drum machines that are the most iconic for this type of genre, especially snares, which are very similar to trap music snares but one element that i recommend that you don't load a bunch of are sats and let's take a look at this thing that i did here's the deal i made like this demo very quickly it's a very rough sounding demo i just have this intro and this drop we can call it <laughs> I'm going to be breaking down the sounds that I use, the way that I use them, and on the later part of the video what I'm going to do is make this better by playing with the way that we arrange this. Because I don't know if you can tell but the change from this intro to this drop, even though this sounds pretty good, um, it doesn't feel like super rewarding when it gets here, you know? Feels weird. That's a very interesting thing to be aware of if you are a beginner especially, so that's going to be later. First, I'm going to break down the sounds. And the first sound that I did was this. So we got this pattern, it's basically two notes repeating all over. I took inspiration to make this sound uh, from Kraftwerk. Let me clarify, obviously I'm not saying this sounds like that. I'm saying I took inspiration. We are the robots. It's a very electro sounding synth before electro existed because this song is from 1978. This doesn't sound like rap work, okay? I know. So let's take a listen to this sound without any processing. The pattern changes a little bit for the second part. Adding just this one note. Ta -da 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 -da. But it's very simple, you can see it's three notes and it's super repetitive, but in a genre like electro, we can get away with that. That doesn't mean that you can't make a more complex pattern. I'm just saying for the sake of this video, this works, but that's related to what I want to talk about, not just in the pattern, but also in the way we make the sound, because I made the sound from scratch. You can tell it's a very poor sound, but if you make a very, very simple pattern, but you make it sound good, you can have an amazing song. You don't need to have the most complex thing, the most expensive machines. You can use anything and make anything sound good. I'm going to make a sound like this from scratch just so you can see what I did. So basically I use analog from Ableton. The first thing I did was come here to the amp and lower this release. And then the decay and sustain. Basically make it more punchy. I added some noise. I increased the resonance for the frequency and lower the frequency. And for this second oscillator, I just went three octaves down. I also played with the frequency envelope. So you can see you get different results. That's the sound, super simple, took me three minutes. So then you can start adding some effects, for example, erosion. When erosion is at the maximum amount, combined with the resonance and the frequency from this sound, it's like this wah 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 vocal thing. Which is cool. I added an LFO that is moving this frequency from the erosion. Some delay, 
uh, compression, but I need to lower the volume now. And then some EQ because I ended up adding a bass. I'm trying to not lose all of the lows from this sound because it loses a lot of personality. But I also don't want this to compete with our bass because electro basses are very bright. So it's all about finding the balance, okay? Keep in mind, I am not trying to do a mixing video. This is more an approach to making an electro song. So that's what we are going to do. Then the drums, these are the sounds I got from Sample Focus. So it's a very simple pattern. So we got kick. Then I'm using three snares. Um, we got this one. Then this one. And finally this one. You can adjust transposition, attack, decay, whatever is needed to make this sound better. That's better, for example. Then the saps. Then I'm using a drum bass for the whole drum, for the sake of time. And then I did use a hi-hat, but on another channel separately. So what I did is add an open hat to a sampler and I'm using the open hat as closed and open at the same time. I don't know if you ever did that, but it's basically you throw it into a sampler on classic mode and you can do this. So along with the drums. Okay, then for the bass, I used a preset from Ableton called Bass Grinder with an overdrive, amplifying the lows a little bit. So along with the other sound. Now that I'm listening to these two together, I'm thinking about adding auto pan to this synth so we get it to move from one ear to the other. We want it to be very subtle though. For the sake of finding the right rate, I am going to increase the amount a lot, but I'm going to decrease it later. So this way we are making the synth move, but the bass is staying in the middle. Keep in mind though, that if you use auto pan on synths for songs that you want played at the club, most clubs don't got a stereo sound. So if you have sounds moving very drastically from one ear to the other, in the club is going to just disappear for a second and come back. So always test uh, your mixes in mono. I am using another preset from Ableton called chord dub plug with just this uh, stereo delay. And then this a cappella that I got from samplefocus.com. And a maniac have a heart attack. Overdrive. You don't understand part of the plan. Delay. Far land. I just crashed. Compression. Wonderland. Can't withstand. I'm damn. <laughs> How can we make this sound better? So the first thing I'm going to do is move this and leave some space. I'm going to build this thing that is happening here. So I want to preview the bass and the acapella. So this I'm going to duplicate. For the bass, I'm going to change the pattern and take out some notes before we get uh, the full explosion. So let's see how that sounds. And the acapella, I want to add a filter so we introduce it slowly. Maybe the bass too. Maybe for the bass we can do the opposite. So we can do... And here I'm going to add the snare from the drums. 
without this kick and without the sap. Then I'm going to make this sound disappear as the others are appearing. So then when we bring it back with a different pattern, it's going to be a lot more satisfying. So for that, I'm going to use auto filter and take it out. Right here it still sounds weird because there is a lot going on at the same time so maybe the chords don't need to be here at the beginning or maybe they do need to be here now it feels empty okay that's good that's good that's good so when we did this filter out now we can make it come back we can take out the hats So like I said before, you can do a lot better in terms of mixing, but the idea is this. You can add elements of another genre that you like. That's what it's all about, finding your own sound. So yeah, I hope you took something out of this. Um, it is not the best thing in the world, but it illustrates the point of what electro sounds to me. Samplefocus.com, you get three free credits every week. And if you run out of those credits, you can get more by uploading your own sound. Absolutely worth checking out. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all of that. We appreciate that a lot. On the description, I'm going to leave some links to other videos. Bye.